and welcome to this edition of Canola TV, featuring the latest information on producing and marketing winter canola in the Southern Plains. Canola TV, a service of PCOM, Producers Cooperative Oil Mill. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to Canola TV. I'm Ron Hayes and join us today Heath Sanders with PCOM. Heath, uh, we're standing right now in one of your test fields uh, for winter canola that uh, are being operated by, by the folks here at PCOM and, and, and I know you're working with Oklahoma State University as well with these particular plots. Tell me, uh, tell me the, a little bit of history of this particular plot and what, you, what you're trying to do here. Well, basically, Ron, uh, the purpose of these plots was just to put here uh, different varieties that, that, were, that farmers can buy and purchase and grow on their own farm. And another reason is to plant these varieties and people coming by and coming by to visit or whatever, we can come out here and take a look at these varieties, look at some early seasonings, er, seasoning uh, canola varieties, some, some middle maturing and some full season varieties, and be able to spread these varieties out on their farm, see how they interact with this environment. You know, like I know, wheat varieties, uh, what may work with one guy doesn't work with the other guy. And so we have to be able to figure out which varieties work best on our farms and, and how we're going to be able to, to make these varieties work best for us. Now, from what I'm seeing in these fields right now, they, they made it through the winter in pretty good shape. Yeah, they really have. Uh, it's It's been a very interesting, uh, very interesting winter, very mild. Uh, a, most of the canola this year stayed green and generally we did not see that hardening off where we see it real brown and white leaves and it just looks really rough we saw more green canola this year than i believe i've seen in, uh, in a long long time uh, talking with some canola breeders they generally see higher yields when the canola stays greener throughout the year and i think we're going to see that this year uh, we've got some excellent looking canola especially the canola that's had some rain on it uh, the further south you go and back southwest, it is extremely dry still. I know they caught some rain last night, but they really need a lot more. And hopefully they'll get some here coming up this spring. Now, as far as the varieties, you're, you've got obviously different maturities. You've actually got some, some canola, and we'll show it here uh, as, as we talk a little bit about uh, really at that point of, uh, of uh, almost ready to bloom. It's bolting. That's right. Uh, Looking at over here, the 40 DKW 4110 and 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 cropland high class 110, uh, they're bolted right now, and uh, I would suspect here in a few days it's going to be pretty yellow in these plots. Uh, as you move toward the different maturities, uh, the 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 medium, the full or the late maturing varieties, full season varieties, they're they're not as far along as the early ones are. We're extremely early this year uh, compared to last year. I mean, today is March the 9th. And, uh, you know, it's already blooming uh, or, you know, bolting and blooming. So we're definitely ahead of schedule than we were last year because normally our month of blooming is April. Mm -hmm. And so we're a couple weeks, two or three weeks ahead of schedule right now. And some of your later maturity uh, varieties are going to definitely not be out there probably until April, right? Right, right. It, it just, it's going to vary uh, uh, how big the canola is, uh, if it, how late it was planted, when it came up, because if you remember back when we were planting, we didn't get a, a rain until I believe October the 9th, uh, and most of this canola came up during that rain. And so we got different stages of, of canola out there, so just because it's one variety doesn't mean that it's going to be bolting and blooming when another field may be. You have to look at varieties and planting dates. Uh, and look at size and compare those with, 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 uh, with others. Okay, Heath, appreciate your time today. Heath Sanders joining us here at PCOM. I'm Ron Hayes for Canola TV. Canola TV, a service of PCOM and produced by OklahomaFarmReport.com.